the fish better known as Nemo than clownfish, is today's clownfish. The orange and white stripes on its body make it look like a clown's costume to most people. In the West, they're known as clownfish. It is also called anemone fish because it lives together with anemones. In Korea, it is called clownfish because of its characteristic white vertical stripes on its body. Clownfish live in symbiosis with anemones in shallow coral reef waters. Normally, a single anemone is home to a group of clownfish. There's something unusual about our friends, clownfish families are strictly matriarchal. She's the biggest one, and if she dies, one of the males in the group switches sexes with her. This is because it's more advantageous for one of the males in the brood to switch sexes on his own than to find a female elsewhere. They are known to lay 700 to 800 eggs at a time, but the hatching rate is quite low. Clownfish are also immune to the anemone's venom, making it possible for them to live in symbiosis. The mysteries of nature are amazing, aren't they? These cute and playful animals live in herds, mostly in South America. Their diet consists of insects and fruits. Their characteristic long nose helps them find their food. Although they're good at climbing trees, they rarely find their food on the ground.
They are often mistaken for raccoons because they have a distinctly striped tail, commonly known as a raccoon tail. However, raccoons don't actually have stripes on their tails. The Cody's long tail isn't used for grabbing things. But it does help them balance when they're climbing trees, and when they're coming down, they hook their tails around branches to keep them from slipping. As an aside, when Columbus first saw them in the New World, he described them as clown-like dogs. He must have thought they looked like clowns because they were so playful and freely climbed trees. You can also meet the adorable Coati at Alpaca World. This video ends with the great adventure of Coati at Alpaca World.